So we do think that it's a catalyst for <clears throat> some improvement in the valuation for Chinese assets. And I say that because um, you know, we're, we have two things that happen. One is that policymakers are doing something that are on the right, step, on the right track. Even though we all agree that this is not enough, they need to do more, but this is something on the right, on the right track. Um, if you look at where they've been focusing on, they're focused on supporting household balance sheet, which is uh, the, absolutely the right place to, to think about if you think about domestic demand uh, and how to, how to rejuvenate that. They're doing uh, the right thing to stabilize the credit cycle, either by supporting uh, banks, um, you know, by, either by reducing the, the urgency for households to repay their loans, um, so they were uh, 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 supporting banks to, to continue to, to give out lending to the rest of the economy and supporting the rest of the economy. At the same time, you know, reading the tea leaves, and you talked about it earlier as well, it seems like there is quite a, a bit of uh, movement on the financial sector as well with um, uh, the support for state banks, uh, capital injection news, and also um, earlier, earlier this week, PBOC talking about um, the five, 500 uh, billion or so kind of swap, bond swap program, um, which are also a way to get to financial institutions, particularly non-bank financial institutions. And even earlier last month, you know, the way that they, they, they did the, some of the mergers and tie up on the security firms on the mainland. So I, I do think that reading the tea leaves, it seems like um, they are doing more and using probably more of the fiscal levers to support the financial sector as well, which is very important from preventing uh, the credit cycle from slowing too much or arresting this downward spiral between deleveraging and deflation. So I think that's, that's been the right step, which is why we think that um, the valuation on Chinese assets have some room to improve. But we do need to see a validation from economic growth and earnings uh, in the coming quarters to see if that's actually sustainable. And we do think that probably more fiscal support is still needed to allow that to happen. So that will be the most, more important next step to think about when you think about uh, earnings and fundamentals.